Hey, this is Robot here from ScooterWest.com, also known as Vespa Motorsport, where we work on all, all types of Vespas, whether you got a handlebar bike or some Vespa like this from the 70s, or of course all the new Vespas. Um, one thing, if anybody knows about their 70s American Vespas, 73 and 1974 were notorious for having horrible electrical systems. Uh, basically, they ran the headlight, everything ran off the battery. You know, they had a, a, a regulator that would supposedly keep the battery charged. Never really worked all that well, uh, even when they were brand new, you know, with the load of the, uh, of the um, headlight. You know, if you rode around without the headlight on, they kind of worked okay. This is the regulator that comes out of a 73 and 74 Vespa. Uh, pretty much all American market 73, 74 Vespas use this, which include the Primavera 125, which is small frame. You got the 150 Super, the Sprint 150, and then the Rally 200. Um, this regulator is unique. That it, it's kind of, they, they call it a split phase system on, on it. So they have two sets of coils that would charge the battery. So I went ahead and removed this regulator here. You can see it didn't really... It kind of worked, but you see a lot of corrosion. You know, any corrosion causes resistance on the um, electrical system, and that further, you know, prevents it from keeping the battery charged. And you could see the terminals that went to the battery. You could see some of the terminals were even melted on it. And everyone I've seen that's been used, stuff kind of looks like this at this point. So the best thing to do to keep this bike on the road with nice bright lights and, and easier upkeep eliminate the battery is to convert it to all alternating current. So basically the battery that was in there has been eliminated. Uh, the customer also requested that we get rid of the American taillight. So it's been replaced with a, the nice original European taillight. Someday we'll paint this to match the scooter, but right now we just installed it. Um, but real simple to convert it over to AC. A lot of people kind of don't know how to do this on these bikes, but you need two part number reg 6Vs. It's a little alternating current regulator that they call a shunt regulator. Basically, it clips the voltage down to around six or seven volts. It's got three terminals on it. These two uh, terminals are the regulated ones. They're actually internally connected. And this is your ground terminal. And I actually just pinned that in, in on the, the front side where you actually make the connections. But on the back side, you can see there's the ground terminal, which is pin number three one and two, which are internally shunted together. Uh, basically, I've removed the battery, disconnected the wire that went to the fuse holder, had two uh, fuses in there, um, removed the regulator, as I said. You see kind of where the regulator went on this. It's a pretty similar location on the other, other Vespas from 1973-74. You got the wiring harness, has the same colors on any of them. First, I'll start off with what I did with the grounds. This is the black wire that originally had a terminal that grounded at the actual regulator, and then the other ring terminal grounded at the battery. I basically just tied them both the regulators together and did two quarter inch quick connects to the ground terminals on each one of these regulators. You can see they've been, it was all black wires. Um, this third black wire that I actually tied into the ring terminal right here ties to a white wire with this little red marker, or some of them have a white, white wire with a red trace, and you would now want to ground that. Originally that went to one of the terminals on the regulator. Now we're grounding that. Um, the two yellow wires are from the actual coils. You know, basically this is, this is like the center tap of those two coils that's grounded, and the yellow wires are the, the power from the coils. So you have one yellow going to the first terminal, the first regulator, then other yellow to the second terminal. Um, on these scooters, they have two circuits. One circuit powers the headlight and it's with this green wire. Originally, this terminal went to the fuse holder. So I extended it and tied it to the second regulator. And that's the power for your headlight. Um, the second one powers the tail light, brake light, the horn, the turn signals originally. You see the turn signal flashers still in here. Uh, turn signals kind of work when you set up AC. Kind of never worked to begin with anyways, but if you do want the turn signals, they, they will, will function AC with this thermal flasher here. And this 
this wire has it's white with a green stripe and there's also a brown wire that actually ties to your turn signal flasher and that's tied to the second terminal of your first regulator and the two red terminals you don't need to have them hooked up you can see that one's melted originally went to the regulator and the fuse holder so we'll put some heat shrink tubing over these get a lighter and heat them up but that's pretty much all you have to do to the electrical the get all the lights to work AC. You'll no longer burn out bulbs or anything, you know, as you know on some of the other AC only Vespas that don't have any type of regulation for the bulbs. Uh, the only other thing you got to keep in mind is the horn on these. It's a direct current horn, runs off the battery. You may want to replace it with the AC horn because it doesn't sound all that good when you have the AC going into these, these style horns. Uh, Still need to button up the wires for the front turn signals. Unfortunately, you can't really take the bolts out because the, uh, the shift and throttle tubes are in the way to remove the bolts. So for right now, I just put acorn nuts. Someday we'll have the bike all the way apart and actually weld those holes up. But for right now, I'll show you how the bike works. I'll actually lower it down and start it up. And the key here, you know, same three position key that you find in the 7374s kind of not really a key, you could stick a screwdriver in there or whatever. But if you're looking for this original key, we actually do stock these keys. Same with, goes for the ignition switch. If you're missing the ignition switch, we have uh, new old stock ignition switches to replace this. So first position, uh, it's just your brake light's gonna work and the horn's gonna work and the scooter will start. In the second position, will turn your headlight on. Let's go ahead and start the scooter up. So hit the brake light, it's nice and bright now. Hear the horn. Doesn't sound all that good because it still has the DC horn. Then you turn the headlight on, second position. Got high beam and low beam. And the tail light is functioning just fine. So. Brake light still works good. Horn doesn't sound all that good, but if you put an AC horn in there, it'll sound pretty good. So nice simple mod for somebody who has one of these bikes and kind of wants to ride, ride at night without having the headlights go out on you. Uh, there you go. And again, the part you'll need, you'll need two, two part number reg 6V, and that's those, these little rectangular regulators that bolt with a single screw, I actually use a little bit longer five millimeter screw to hold them to the frame. All right, there you go. Thanks for watching.